good job. It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, Ronda Rousey uh, kind of went after the WWE fan base recently. Um, we got to talk about this. It involves Bray Wyatt and uh, um, just how fickle the WWE fans can get. And uh, I'm going to create a discussion from what she said. So, I didn't watch Raw. I watched clips of Raw on uh on youtube because i just didn't feel like watching raw um and from what i can tell and what other people have recorded videos of and talked about on their channels as well is pretty much chicago fans chicago wwe fans they took over raw man they hijacked raw um they were basically um letting wwe know how they felt about bray wyatt being released there was a we want riot chance throughout the show and uh ronda rousey had something to say about this you know it, for me i thought it was a, a a good moment to see the fans vocalizing their their displeasure of wwe releasing bray wyatt so i'm gonna check out this tweet because ronda was definitely not not letting the wwe fans make it I've seen some, I've seen you same fans chanting we want riot last night chanting we want we want beach balls over Bray Wyatt performing if the WWE treated him like he was expendable it was because you ungrateful idiots did it did first I don't know about this one Rhonda I get the point she's trying to make but I don't know about this one I don't are can WWE fans be fickle yes can they be you see what's on my hat toxic at times yes uh, I mentioned that some of the fans were going after Alexa Bliss because they felt like she took took the fiends gimmick and this is the reason why he's not in the company no more that's toxic don't go after people who are literally just doing their job you know what I'm saying like that's all I'm saying you feel me like that's unnecessary but when it comes to fans of voicing their opinion their displeasure on certain things that uh, that's always been WWE now the uh, match she's talking about some people have found the match I believe Bray was going against uh um Matt Hardy in his broken gimmick at the time and I don't think a lot of people really was caring for it because at this point bray was pretty much at the end of his booking life and i guess you can say because he wasn't really winning matches he wasn't really winning feuds in hindsight the broken gimmick versus uh bray wyatt broken matt hardy versus bray wyatt sounded good on paper but it wasn't executed right that's the problem wwe have failed bray wyatt time and time again creatively so you can't expect people to care about a match and a feud when you know one of the people in the feud ain't really good at winning feuds because he barely wins feuds like so part of that goes to wwe now i can get it people you know saying oh you know this shouldn't be uh you know he shouldn't be chanting that because the, the fans the crowd was bored and it's i don't think it had anything to do with bray or matt it's just it just didn't gel as well as people thought it was so i get her point there but then to be like oh well it's because of fans us fans that's why wwe let him go no it wasn't because of the fans it was simply because of budget cuts that wwe likes to use from time to time it wasn't because the fans didn't like him like the fans enjoyed his new gimmick even though i was starting to get sour on it because of once again the bookings it wasn't because of bray wyatt it wasn't because of the person himself he has done everything he can to revitalize his career to make that character work it's wwe's lack of creative booking that have screwed him and I, I think Ronda feels this way because she felt it firsthand. She thought she was just going to get cheered all the time. You guys remember that. When she first came, people was loving her. But then Becky Lynch became the hot flavor of the month. And people got, people could see what was happening. 
people saw what was happening here ronda becoming pretty much the new roman reigns at the time they're just gonna push ronda which i get it she's a top act but becky became over so at that point it didn't really matter people didn't really care about ronda as much they wanted to see becky they wanted to see becky obtain the greatness to obtain the title you know what i'm saying and she didn't know how to handle that she didn't understand why the fans just turned on her you guys remember when charlotte flair beat the living crap out of her and charlotte was a heel and people were chanting thank you charlotte that's because people were tired they 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 switched they did flop they they flip flopped on her you know what i'm saying they they preferred becky they didn't really too much ronda was cool but they prefer becky and that's kind of what it is sometimes in wwe it the fans can be fickle but that doesn't make them ungrateful you know i don't think they're idiots because they they chose not to cheer you anymore that's just what it is in wrestling hence you gotta call an audible in the back all right well the fans are not really liking you for some reason now so we're gonna have to turn you heel to give them a reason to hate you that's what happens simple as that you feel me so and ronda had some pretty fan pretty good matches for someone that's not you know well versed in like wwe style wrestling she came in and she held her own she she had some pretty good matches so i will say that um but i i think her take here it stems not just from the bray wyatt situation i think it just stems from the fact that she's dealt with it firsthand how the fans turned on her and she didn't like that so she's always been bitter to wwe fans and now she's kind of going out you know lashing out on twitter on some oh yeah you idiots are the reason why you know one of you're probably the reason why bray's gone no no if anybody wanted bray to succeed it was the majority of the the hardcore wrestling fans it's just there's only so much you can care about someone if they don't get booked correctly and that's what this all boils down to fans can be fickle fans can be wishy-washy but ultimately it comes down to the booking and if the booking is trash and the booking has been consistently trash for a character or hasn't been great like it should have been or hasn't even been moderately good sometimes like he doesn't win the important matches he doesn't win the important feuds when he needs to and then you continuously end up burying him or have him lose to part-timers like goldberg or have him lose the feud to randy orton in a most ridiculous way where he loses his powers to alexa bliss at some point and never to be seen again of course people of course people are not going to care as much and like I said, a lot of people were just really shocked by this because Bray, even though he wasn't getting booked correctly like he should have, he was still charismatic. He was still an interesting character. So comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys agree with me when, well, I'm not agree with me, but agree with Ronda Rousey. Do you guys agree with her tweet here? Do you feel like it's, you know, 100% accurate or do you feel like I you know she she's kind of off on this on her point here and you feel like she may have you know may have you know had some personal bias because of her time in wwe and how the fans ultimately turned on her comment down below let me know but i appreciate all the love and support we are almost at 50k so appreciate y'all running up the subscriptions and uh yeah man appreciate y'all kicking in with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace